I only just realized I never made a flip through on this journal which is filled with all of my memories from my travel around Europe. I didn't completely finish it just because it got to a point where I couldn't really do any writing because this part was so thick um, but I did start a new journal so I thought I would uh, kind of flip through this one. Starting off this is just a regular notebook that I got from Officeworks. It has a bunch of dogs on the cover and it's blue and it's super cute. Starting off at the very front page I have some plane tickets. This is the luggage tag thing that I got and then moving on to my boarding pass tickets and all that good stuff. My first stop was London so this is a London field page. The first day I was there I got an oyster card to catch the tube and all that stuff because obviously that was how we were gonna get around. And then we actually visited Westminster Abbey and because it was uh, after New Year's it was kind of free to go in which was really cool and they even had a mass that was going on so we just attended the mass and this was um, the paper things that were given on the night. On our last day in London before we started the tour I wanted to visit King's Cross Station and all the Harry Potter stuff so this was the pamphlet thing that I got from there and while I was there of course I went to get my photo taken on the infamous platform nine and three quarters so this is the picture that I got. And then right after that we started the tour. So this entry is just me talking about all the people I met. There were 18 people on the big bus. A lot of them were from Australia which was really nice and there was another family there of four that were from New Zealand but they were Filipino and one of the eldest daughters was my age so that was really nice. I, we also met a couple that were in their 20s my age as well and they were studying in Brisbane but they're from Mexico. On this page I talked about arriving in Brussels. There was actually an incident right before I got on the train, right before the tour started. I fell kind of off the train on the little hole thing. My legs fell in and um, yeah it freaked everyone out. Because we were only in Brussels for a couple of hours this is also an entry on when I arrived in Amsterdam and there was actually an incident where uh, a couple of uh, people that were in our tour lost their passport on the very first day. They were Americans and um, they needed to wait until we got to Rome to get their passport renewed. Next page this is just a postcard that I stuck in that I really really liked. And then we move on to Germany which was one of my favorite places that I've visited. Of course I had to stuck in my favorite kind of sour lollies. It was actually a public holiday when we were there so a lot of the shops weren't actually open but we did visit the big castle which was so pretty. It was raining but it was so nice in Heidelberg. After Heidelberg we moved on to Switzerland so this is just me sticking in everything that I could find while I was there and this is just all the touristy information and all that stuff. After a couple of days in Switzerland we made our way to Italy and we spent a couple of days there um, in a couple of different cities so this is just me talking about all what we did on our way and all that. The first city we stopped off at was Venice. We got on the gondola ride. This is the map of the island which was super cool. It was kind of a rainy day and the thing with Venice is you can't really get off the island unless you went on the ferry and our ferry was like in the afternoon so we had to find some place to kind of keep dry. So we went to a lot of museums and a lot of stores and coffee shops and all that stuff. This is just my uh, postcard that I got from there. Moving on from Venice we made our way to Rome and we stopped off at Assisi and we visited the uh, St. Francis of Assisi church chapel ba basilica thing. Here's another postcard. Here's more me talking about my experiences there which was so cool. This page is all about my time in Florence. I did a lot of walking in Italy which was interesting but uh, Florence in particular was just insane. There was a lot of walking. This is the tourist guide thing that I got. I'm pretty sure this is a map. Yep. 
it's another map oh here i wrote that florence is one of my favorite places around italy so that was accurate what's also super funny was uh my dad was super hungry um in the middle of the day and so we just sat at a restaurant to have some food and my dad wanted wine and I didn't really want coffee because it was already in the middle of the day and I'm always trying to cut it back on my coffee intake so I ordered this drink that said orange juice on the menu and what they brought out was boiled whiskey so that was a surprise to me while we were in italy we also stopped off at the leading tower of pisa which was a surprise to me because i didn't know that we were going to go there and uh yeah we were only there for a couple of hours but we took some pictures after italy we headed to the south of france before we head back to the south to spain this i'm sure is more maps that I'm sure you're tired of seeing. And then we headed our way back south to Spain. So we went to Barcelona first. I'm not sure how this map is going to open. I think I stuck it down um, the wrong way. But that's a map of Barcelona. And then here I talked about how I walked a lot <laughs> while I was in Italy. And um, Barcelona was no different. I did a lot of walking in Barcelona. I'm pretty sure I walked the whole length of the city in one night because we got lost in the middle of the night and we didn't want to catch a taxi because we just thought you know what a waste of money so uh yeah we just did a lot of walking and then the next day we kind of did some touristy things this is the postcard after barcelona we went to madrid and we actually accidentally came across a historical churros restaurant moving on from spain we went back to the south of france on our way up to paris we stopped off at a perfumery um i can't remember what the place was actually called but um these are just all the perfume samples you can't smell it through the camera but it's super nice and then here i just have a pocket of um the perfume stuff that i couldn't stick down and last but not least paris which was our stop of the whole tour um so these are just things that um i couldn't i didn't have room to stick down just more maps and all that stuff i stuck it in this paris bag thing and here is just me talking about my experiences there and i'm sure i talked about how i lost my phone when i was in paris and then we headed back home this is another one of my boarding pass ticket and that was the end of my travel section of this journal uh going back home to australia i did kind of a dot point bullet point thing that i wanted to do because i hadn't written in this for a while so um that was what was going on in my life at the time it has now since changed because i don't know what i'm doing with my life on this page i stuck in my movie tickets you all know i love doing that um i went to watch truth or dare is it truth or dare? I can't even see. Yes, uh, with my friend Tash. It was all right. It was good. You know, one of those cheesy movies. And then I watched another movie with, I'm pretty sure I watched it with Ashley or Tash again. Um, we watched A Quiet Place. So that was interesting. Here's just me trying to um, write more in my journal. I was feeling really down. So there's a lot of, you know, downer posts. And that is it i think one of the reasons why i didn't complete this is not only is it like hard to write because it's, the pages are so thick now but i was also in such a down mood that i didn't want to ruin all the great experiences i had while i was around europe with all of my gloomy bad brain day thoughts i have since moved on to another journal that i haven't completely finished but i'm super happy with this one at the moment just a sneak peek because i did do a lot more color and a lot more scrapbooking and all that stuff so when this is done um i will be sure to make a flip through out of it so yeah that is all i have in this journal right here i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you soon